Okay guys, here's a quick unboxing and boot of the new mid-2011 MacBook Airs. As you can see, it's a pretty similar box to the old one. This is actually the highest end that you don't have to get custom ordered from Apple, which is the 1.7 GHz Core i5. The Core i7 has to be a special order from the Apple Store. Can't get it any of the resellers. Resellers or retailers. It does have a 256 gig flash storage drive and 4 gigs of RAM. 4 gigs of RAM are standard on all the new Airs except for the lowest end 11 inch. So let's go ahead and open this up here. Let me grab my knife. Now this does have all the same other physical specs, but still the same size and weight as the old ones. No updates there. Okay, so let's just lift it up here. This is the back end, the thicker side of it. This does have the new Thunderbolt display, which is finally updated on these, and then Mac and Music come at the same time. It has the same standard block and power cable as the rest of them. One thing it does, this does not have is does not have installation CDs because these are the first Macs to ship with Lion and it's actually installed in there and there's a special recovery partition so there's no physical media to get Lion. The drive has an internet recovery so if you replace a drive or anything like that it's able to download and install Lion without having the actual physical disk. Let's go ahead and remove the plastic on here. As I said before, these are the first Macs to actually ship with Lion, and they were built with Lion in mind. So this is going to be the um, first computers like with setup that goes to the new Lion setup instead of the Snow Leopard. Also to note on here, the keys are different. The F3 and 4 are slightly different. The 3 doesn't have the box around it for expose. And the 4 is now a launch pad button. It also has a backlit keyboard, even though it's just as thin, which was not in the last version of it. Okay, the pixel density on this 13 inch here is actually the same, or slightly worse than the 11 inch. You know, they have the same resolution, but the 11 inch has a smaller screen. So the 11 inch is going to look a bit better screen wise than the 13 inch but they're still pretty good. The cameras also on these are not the new FaceTime HD cameras that they're sporting on all the new displays, the Apple display, and the MacBook Pros, and the iMacs, and stuff like that. So it is missing that. Okay, so here's our fancy new back screen here. It's taking a second to boot up. Now there is no welcome video anymore. They instead have all the welcome and the languages going across the screen like this rather than before. So let's continue. Pick your region, you can show all, click US. Continue. You can pick your keyboard, attach a Bluetooth keyboard, anything like that. Okay, it prompts you to connect to Wi-Fi network. And this is also is kind of figure it no longer says airport um, for whatever reason. I don't know if I'll, Apple thought it was confusing, but instead of airport, it now says Wi-Fi. So same thing, but either way, connect to it, connect to your network, and put in your WPA password or whatever you got going on. And continue. Okay, so you can transfer, you know, backups from other computers, all that good stuff. Apple ID, 
You can log into iTunes, anything else you want to do. For some reason, clicking enter doesn't work. You actually have to click the button. So, the terms of agreement, if you don't agree to them, it, it forces you to shut down the computer. Put in your billing information here. Okay, so you create your accounts, put in your, for some reason, it always puts in your iTunes username there, your, or your iTunes login, I don't like. So, switch that to whatever you want, go through, that can't be changed. And I think these make you put in a password now as well. In Snow Leopard, you weren't required to have one. This requires you to have a password. So, so, take a quick snapshot for your logo or for your icon here, and then this is also new in line is the gesture support. So, um, yeah, kind of new, but they uh, actually prompt you here in the boot up options of how to do some of the gestures and show you how the inverted scrolling works. So it's kind of cool. So you scroll down, click OK. There boots your lap, your uh, new MacBook. And this is also the new login screen. And here we go. There's the new line wallpaper. You can jump between your desktops and full screen apps, mission control, all that good stuff. Up here again, it says turn Wi Fi off, not airport. That used to say airport in Snow Leopard and everything else. Of course, here we come, it comes with three updates to do which are all the iLife updates to support like full screen apps and stuff like that. And it's only GarageBand iPhone and iMovie. It doesn't actually have new updates for iWeb and the such for full screen apps, which is kind of surprising. And again, you can see that down there on the little Mac icon. But that's about it, guys. Subscribe.